during the Vinox Ammies, I was drinking a little bit, and I decided to, de to declare the sexiest people alive. And my initial reaction for sexiest woman alive was Christine DeMarco. And she's she's a Christian singer. She leads worship at a church in California, and uh, and she's she's very pretty. But is she like Cara Delevingne? Cara means face in Spanish. De, De Levine sounds a lot like divine. Does she have a divine face? She's got a pretty divine face, but is it that divine compared to Cara De Levine? Probably not. I mean, she's she's not Stella Maxwell, but she's more attractive to me than Stella Maxwell. Why would that? Why is that the case? It's because Christians tend to be so humble. At least the religion brainwashes them to embrace humility so much and kindness and gentleness and self-control and goodness and caring about the poor and um, and thinking about others, you know, do unto others as you would do unto yourself. Um, um, loving others like you love yourself, which I, I've said it, I think I might have said it in my book, the whole idea, this whole idea of um, loving others as much as you love yourself, that's such a radical idea because how much do you love yourself? All you think about is yourself. So um, the, the idea that you could love someone as much as you love yourself is such a, is, is, is kind of radical. Um, but um, I think when I, when I would be, had been, when I was picking the men, male, the sexiest man alive, I should have picked someone like the 10th Avenue North guy. Um, which I don't even know his name, instead of, what's his name, Henry Golding, Golding, I don't even know his name, he's he's the guy from Crazy Rich Asians, um, he's the sexiest man, He's a, he was the sexiest man alive, according to me, and um, maybe, I sh maybe I should have picked someone more talented, like uh, the Jimmy Eat World guy, even though he's old, or what's his name, Ben Gibbard, um, the guy from Death Cab for Cutie, because his lyrics are so awesome, or Bright Eyes, because his lyrics are so freaking cool, or... Um, I don't know, Brandon Flowers, he, he dresses too funny. He's got like his little his little southwestern uh, outfit, which, I mean, if he, if, he, if he changed his clothes, could he be the sexiest man alive? Probably. Um, but, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I, when, I'm, when I'm picking men, I'm, I, it's kind of a joke when you pick sexiest man alive for, for men because I'm so straight. But then when you pick a woman, you're like, who am I attracted to? And that's why Meg Myers won. Because she's got the face and she's got the music and her music is a whole different level. And, um, and so sometimes I think Christians can be less attractive because you're humble, but then your actions seem to lack humility because you assume that everything's going to work out because God's going to solve all your problems, right? Like you don't have to worry about running out of electricity and running out of energy. And you don't have to worry about the fact that this is not going to work with salt water and we might have to build a pipeline to move water from certain areas to Colorado and then dump it into the Colorado River so it'll feed into Lake Mead, which is, is a possibility. Maybe a pipeline from Canada. I don't even know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm not going to solve the energy crisis myself. I'm not a scientist. I think one of the reasons I'm not a scientist is because... It makes me humble that I lack scientific knowledge, um, that, I, that I'm weak in the areas of chemistry and physics. Um, but anyways, what I was trying to say is um, what's attractive is humility, and I hope that someday um, we can get the Christians together and we can all decide that um, I won't touch your guns. Your, your, your gun is safe, I promise. Like, I I, I apparently like guns too much to, to run as a Democrat because there's something wrong with liking shooting guns because it's fun for me to shoot a gun. Like, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a manly thing for me. Like, I mean, I am, that's how I am is I just, I just like to shoot them. It, but it doesn't mean that I'm not reasonable on guns. But um, what I'm not reasonable about is trying to cut back consumption of oil. And I think that, if Christians would embrace humility the way that their religion teaches them, then they might think, wow, you know what? I could actually drive 55 miles per, miles per hour on the highway and it's not the end of the world. Or they might think, wow, improving the efficiency of the national electricity grid by 5% would be the equivalent of eliminating, of eliminating the fuel use and carbon emissions of 53 million cars. 
and they think, wow, how could I do that? Well, we might have to trust the government more. <laughs> Why? Because say that the government decides we're going to develop an AI that um, looks inside your house because you already have a security system and um, it, we use military grade, is it encryption or is it compression? Compression to send wirelessly, well, it could be compression and encryption, to send wireless transmissions to a server that crunches the data on your receptacle usage. And we can have the power grid consider individual households more. It's hard, it's, that's, that's a difficult idea to get across. All right, you don't want the government spying in your house all the time, right? Gosh, this isn't going to work. That's a, that idea is not going to work. That, but that was my idea for the pyramids, was that we were going to have um, this, this dedicated local network that uses AI to, pre to, to predict your energy consumption for your individual housing unit. And then we could increase the efficiency of the power grid massively. And so, um, you know, maybe this could be optional. You know, like you say that you have a big, if you have a house that's over a certain size, then it's mandatory that built into your security system um, is, an, is a, a camera system that sends a very, very compressed um, video feed to a central server that predicts your, f your fuel usage. Gosh, oh, no matter what, it's spying on people, but the government's already spying on people. Because like you, it would be very helpful if we knew your calendar. Like if we knew you're going to be out of town. Um, because, but I don't know how. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to save the planet, and it's hard. It's hard to save the planet because sometimes it's like it, it makes you fear for your privacy, and and sometimes it makes you, it's it's less convenient. But if we're humble people which for me is a very attractive person. You're more attractive if you're humble, regardless if you're man or female, like you're more attractive if you're humble. And I, I don't think Donald Trump is a very attractive person. Like, you know, um, Barack Obama feigns humility, um, but um, I think most people are, I think that being worshiped tends to make you less humble. And, you know, maybe we could all follow Aristotle who says that humility is not the best. What's best is to, um, know when you're talented and be high-minded, you know, not be arrogant, not be humble, but be high-minded. And so maybe that's right, but I don't think that um, striving for high-mindedness leads to high-mindedness. I think striving for humility leads to high-mindedness when you're talented. And um, I think I'm going into too deep a philosophy here that no one's going to understand me. Um, all I'm saying is we need to be more humble. We need to solve the energy crisis, and that's not as easy of a thing as it sounds like. And that's why um, we need to stop assuming that God's going to solve the problems for us and we need to solve the problems ourselves.